Hey guys, welcome back to Guy Stuff. You know, I just did a live show and a couple people said, Hey, what happened to your Guy Stuff videos? And I said, Hey, I'm out of material, man. <laughs> I've got like, I don't know, 30, 40 recipes up there. And it did kind of turn into a cooking thing because you know what? I love cooking and every guy, including you, should know how to cook very well. Anyway, today I am doing a combination of my recipes. For those of you that don't know, um, if you haven't been following the site or Facebook or the live shows or anything. My blood sugar's been out of control lately. My weight's fine. Well, it's not fine. I mean, I'm not, you know, thin by any means, but it, I've kept the weight off after HLO if you were following that. Point is, my blood sugar's out of control and I gotta bring it down. So I've been on an ultra low carb diet and I don't mean diet as in something temporary. I mean, you know, it's pretty much permanent at this point because I do not want diabetes hanging around and looming around my life. So, this is going to be a low-carb recipe, believe it or not. So, it's going to have some normal things in it. You know, it's got heavy whipping cream, and it's got real butter. But it's got chicken, and it's got veggies, and stuff like that. So, I mean, it does have some fat. It, this is not a healthy recipe. It's totally normal. It just happens to be ultra-low-carb and, you know, no sugar. So... If you're doing an Atkins kind of thing, or paleo, or you know you have diabetes, you like me, this is going to be very cool for you. I like doing this stuff because I can make it once. You know, it takes a few hours to go through it all, and then I can eat leftovers for several days. I love leftovers, so that works for me. Anyway, it's going to be a cream of chicken mushroom soup. We're going to smoke the chicken. We're going to do them beer can style. I've got two of these chickens here. And I'll put the recipe, I'm, I'm making this up as I go along, so, you know, we'll see how it turns out, but I've done enough kind of stuff like this, I think I got it down, and I think it'll come out really well. I'm doing two of these chickens, beer can style, on the Weber, I'm going to be smoking them for a few hours, and you can watch my beer can chicken guy stuff video if you want to see another variation of doing that, but basically, we take a can of liquid, half filled, and that's what these here are for. I am not drinking them. They have a lot of sugar and carbs in them. Bad, bad, bad. I dumped out one can and refilled it with half the other can. Yes, I could have dumped half out of both, but, you know, I just wasn't thinking. Anyway, doesn't matter what kind of liquid. You can use beer. You can use fruit juice. You know, I did a mango beer can chicken, and I think I did the, the ass blaster bean recipe. I, oh, man, that's a great recipe, too. But uh, anyway, you can use any liquid. The point is, this is up the chicken's butt while it's smoking, and it's providing steam and moisture so that, oh my God, the chicken just comes out like the best rotisserie chicken you get from the store at half the price, and it's just fall off the bone tender, and you don't have to do jack squat except wait. It's awesome. So I find that things with a little bit of sweetness, like this coconut water or fruit juice, does translate a little bit into the chicken, and it really mixes well with a bite of the smoke coming in from the outside. So we're going to do two of those, and I got a cool new tool that I'll show you for doing that. And I'll get to that when they go on the grill. And then I've got three of these big containers of mushrooms, and you can buy them whole, slice them yourself. I buy these not because they're sliced, but because they're already washed. You know, it's just a pain in the butt when I'm doing a big recipe like this, and I got to spend five or ten minutes just washing vegetables. So. It's like an extra 40 cents of a container. I'll buy them pre-washed, who cares? We're gonna use one stick of butter, basically for sauteing these guys here and to start the base of our sauce. Three nice, big, firm red bell peppers. You could use green, you could use yellow. Red are gonna provide a nice little, little touch of bite over green. Not so much the vegetable taste, a little bit of a sweeter taste, but they just add a nice color to it, so three of these guys here. I'm going to use about half this container or this package of matchstick carrots. If you want to shred your own carrots, that's fine. Just get them real nice and thin. These are basically just going to cook in the sauce. Again, provide a little bit of texture and color, and we want those to be just melt in your mouth. So no big chunks of carrots. You know, don't chunk up like a vegetable soup. We just want these guys to melt in your mouth. I've got four containers of fat-free reduced sodium chicken broth, and we are going to be reducing these heavily, probably about halfway. We want to concentrate the flavor. This is not going to be a watery soup. I want it more towards a chowder, but obviously healthier. No flour or anything like that. So we're just going to be concentrating our liquids. Same with these two containers of heavy cream. 
those are going to be reduced and those are just going to finish off and those are going to provide the body to the sauce. And that is about it. We're going to season it with salt and pepper at the end, but there's really nothing else I'm going to put in this. I'm going to keep it real simple. I'm not even doing garlic. You know, I want the straight smoked chicken and cream flavors to come popping through here. So the first step is to get our chickens going. Let's go do that now. So here's the tool that makes beer can chicken super duper easy. These are just a couple bucks. You can get them at Walmart. Home Depot probably has them. Any grill store. Basically your can goes in there and that it gives you this nice stable platform. So the chicken just goes over that. And boom. You don't have to worry about balancing the chicken on the grill. Which you can do. Obviously you've seen me do it in my other videos. But man, that's the way to go. Super easy, literally, just a, a couple bucks each. Okay, now we're gonna be smoking these two, two and a half hours. I'm gonna just keep an eye on them. You got your choice of smoking woods, of course. I would suggest something heavier, like a mesquite or a hickory. I'm gonna be using hickory here. Not quite long enough for the softer fruit woods to really take effect, like a peach or a cherry or an apple. There we go, we're gonna be doing this uh, two and a quarter, 250 at the most. Make sure the lid fits here. Pretty tall chickens. There we go. Barely fits. All right. So let's uh, check back in about an hour and I'll probably just rotate them around and that's all we have to do with chickens. Super easy to do beer can chicken for absolutely tender, moist, fall off the bone meat. Chloe Bear is going crazy because she smells a chicken. Go get the chicken. Smell it. Where is it? Uh, where's the chicken? Over here. Let's check. Oh yeah, baby. Those are looking good. You know what? I'm not even going to rotate them. They're staying nice. Just the way they are. Keeping all that nice tender breast meat away from the direct heat there. That'll be real good in about another hour. Can you smell what's cooking? Oh, baby. It smells good. Okay, an hour and a half in. Now we're starting to get a little bit of Christmas crispness to the skin. So we're starting to cook the other side. I'm going to go ahead and rotate them again, or rotate them for the first time. And they've got maybe another hour at the most. And then we'll pull them in, skin them, take the meat off, and, well, actually, I'm going to let it set. Ah, I'll go through all that when I get it in. I'm going to go ahead and rotate these right now. Okay, the chicken is almost ready to come off the smoker. Let's go ahead and start the soup base because we do have some work to do on it. First thing I'm going to do is start reducing this cream. And you want to do this over a medium, medium to high heat at the very most because you do not want the cream to burn. Make sure it's in a very good stainless steel pan and do it low enough. You won't have any problem. We want to reduce this by about half. Get it real nice and thickened up. So check out the level if you're doing my ratios here. Uh, that's what we want to get down to, approximately. You'll notice it when it starts to get nice and thick. And just stir it occasionally. It's probably going to take about 15 minutes. Do not be in a rush. There is no fast way to do this. Now over here in our main pot, this is where we're going to do most of the work. That's going to be separate and it's going to come later. Crank this guy up to high. We're going to melt a stick of butter. And then we're going to be sauteing our red bell peppers, which I've just chunked up into nice bite-sized little pieces here. If you don't want them quite that big, you can dice them even finer, but I wouldn't go much bigger. You want it to be able to fit on a spoon. And these aren't going to shrink a whole lot. We are going to cook them. We're going to saute them in the butter here, but we're not going to completely reduce them. We're just going to get them super soft and tender. So toss those guys in. Pepper. 
peppers have been sauteing a few minutes. They're just starting to get soft. Now what I'm going to do is mix up my mushrooms. I'm going to put one pack in here and I'm going to saute these with the bell peppers. The rest of them are going in a little bit later and that's going to give me a variety of texture for the mushrooms. I love mushrooms. You don't like them? You could easily just put in more bell peppers, put in some red and green peppers, put in some onions, lots of other stuff you can do. But I'll tell you, mushroom and chicken goes really good, especially in creamy, thicker soups. I'm going to cook these about another four or five minutes. Just start to get those mushrooms going. And then we'll move on, put in the broth. Mmm, mmm. Boy, I tell you what. You think this looks good? You should smell it. All right. Chicken is fresh off the grill. These are just going to sit for a good 20, 30 minutes. Let everything cool down a little bit. And then we're going to skin it and shred it. We just want the meat. cream starting to reduce now got a nice boil not over high heat that's the key to not scorching your creams got the broth finally at a boil that's going to take a while to reduce down because I do have a good volume of it here probably another 15 minutes let's take a look at that chicken you want to see how tender this gets just doing it beer can style oozing with juices, falls off the bone. Absolutely fantastic. Nice crispy skin, steam coming out of there. Mm. Very good. Want one, Chloe? Yeah, I do. I'm in the middle of shredding the chicken here. Just good spoonful size chunks. It's just cool enough now where I can get in here. It's still really piping hot near the bones, so be careful. Our soup has reduced enough here. Just about half on both the cream and the broth. Got the heat off on the cream. It's just going to sit there. Now I'm going to put in the rest of my mushrooms. Again, you can adjust proportions. You could use other vegetables. Whatever you want in your soup. It's not real important. And I'm going to put in about half of this package of these matchstick carrots. I'm not a huge carrot fan, but I like it in soups. I just don't want it to be real prominent. If you love carrots, put it in the whole bag. I think that should do me there. Use the rest on salads. Now I'm going to let this heat back up. Just let it cook for a good 10 or 15 minutes. Get all those vegetables super soft. And by that time, I will be done shredding the chicken. Okay, chicken shredded. Veggies are smelling really good. I'm going to pick out my bay leaf here if I can see it. Here is one. Oh, lost them. <laughs> there he is. Let's check these carrots. Yep, nice and squishy. Good enough. I just don't want any kind of crunch in the soup. There's two. All right, bay leaves are out. Let's go ahead and add in the chicken. Chloe accidentally got a big old chunk of breast meat. I was picking it out of the tray there to shred and it plopped right over the edge. I think she just ate about an eighth of a pound in one gulp. Not kidding. <laughs> what a chicken piggy. That is her favorite meat. 
Sorry, the angle's a little awkward here. Camera's right where I would be standing. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this chicken in, give it a few minutes for the flavors to start mixing and chicken to heat back up. Then we're going to take it down to a simmer, put in our thyme, salt, pepper, and our cream, and let the whole thing sit for a good 20 minutes. In goes a About a tablespoon of thyme. I'm going to do about a tablespoon of salt and the rest to taste per bowl. And now we can put in our reduced cream. Bring this up to a simmer, let it simmer for about 20 minutes, and it'll be ready to serve. A little better, little bit of pepper here at the end. So good. Almost done. And there we have it, guys. My creamy chicken mushroom soup. Very, very carb friendly. So, if you're in my shoes or you just want to eat something low carb, give this a shot. I'm going to give it a shot right now. Ooh, still piping hot. Mmm. So good. Could use a little bit more pepper, but I'll do that right here in the bowl. Very nice. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.